Emma. You anything decent on the box this time of night? <sighs> no, not really. Well, maybe we should flick it off and get some sleep. I'm not tired. Well, that's surprising, since you've been up all night every night since you broke up with Belle. <sighs> Mate... I know you're going through a hard time at the moment, but this is not the way to deal with it. You know, you haven't been out of the house or seen your mates for days. Uh, I'm fine. Well, I noticed you've been writing in your diary a fair bit lately. Must be good to get your feelings down on paper, eh? What's the chance of you uh, wanting to come for a surf in the morning? Not great. Come on. The report says four foot and offshore, mate. You can't turn that down. You don't give up, do you? Like a mongrel dog with a bone, mate. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, give me a yell when you get up, and if I'm awake, then I'll go. All right. See you in the morning. Yeah, if I'm awake. <laughs> I'll take you there. Now you're planning on getting rich, hmm? I haven't figured that out yet, but I've got plans, Taylor. They're all involved making you happy. So was it cool staying with Amanda while I ran away? No, it's actually been pretty good. It's nice to see Amanda and Peter so happy. What about Kelly? How are you two getting on? try and stay out of the way mostly. I don't know, there's just something about her. Lucas! How are you? I've got nothing to say to you. Wait, I just want to talk. Hey, I know you're upset, mate, but you can at least be civil. As far as I'm concerned, they don't exist, so why would I bother? We know that some people might think it's a bit quick. No, I think it's a fantastic idea. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. The kids must be happy. Yeah, they are. And I um, finally got on to Mr Stewart last night. He couldn't be happier. Mm. We're really pleased. The kids took it well. Well, Cassie is certainly a fan. She said that you donated an after-hours classroom to the helpline. Oh, it's not much. No, no, every bit helps. Oh, speaking of which, we should get going. We've got to um, catch up with the kids oh, and talk about yeah. fundraising ideas. Well, be warned, Cassie's going to make this a success no matter what. Yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> Thanks, mate. See you later, See you. Later. See you. Bye. Morning. Oh, hey, that was a long shift. Yeah, I had to work a double very short stuff. I thought maybe that's why you didn't turn up to the family meeting. Oh, God, sorry, I meant to call. We're just so busy. What was it about? Um, well, I've asked Brad to move in and we just wanted to talk it over with everyone. Fine by me. Not that it's really any of my business. No, of course it is. You're part of this family. I'll get it. Hi, hey. beautiful. What are you doing here? Well, I want to see how you are. Hi. It's Ali, Brad. This is Cam, my boss. G'day. I have a bit more than that. So we were talking yesterday about ideas that are fun. Mm -hmm. I know I shouldn't blow my own trumpet, <laughs> but I have come up with a wonderful suggestion. A nature calendar showing all the natural beauties of Summer Bay. Well, that, that's a nice thought, Colleen, but why would locals pay money when they can enjoy the sights for free? Mm. Yeah, and the only calendars that serve with the natural beauties are the ones where they get their gear off. <laughs> I've never understood how men who look at those pictures can live with themselves. Mm. Wait, you know, I think you've got something in the nude calendar idea. Is that a joke? You want to save money by selling calendars to naked women? Not naked women, that's been done. Naked men, however. But, but, but <laughs> naked is in quite naked, naked. Not quite naked. <laughs> no, like a strategically placed beach towel or surfboard would leave certain things to the imagination. You, see, you know what's going to happen here, don't you? I'm going to end up nude again. You girls do this to me every time. So There's a guy who wanted to do a nude car wash yesterday. No, not nude, not nude, see, wearing swimmers. And you can't hang a car wash on the wall or you and laugh at it. <laughs> but this will be completely tasteful. And not to mention it is for a really good cause. I'm, I'm sorry, but you girls have tricked me into this far too many times. I am not interested. He'll do it. He loves it. G'day, fellas. How's it going? Good. You just had a great surf, didn't we, mate? Um, yeah. Can you just order me a juice, please? How's he doing? Oh, not great. He's 
He still won't talk about Bell, but he's taking it pretty hard. When I tried to call him heaps of times to get him out of the house, he just doesn't ring me back. I'll keep trying, me, mate. He needs his mates. Yeah, of course. He just needs time to get himself together. I get two juices, I do. I love working in hospitality. But what you guys do is, you know, important. Where would our kids be? So how long have you and Martha known each other? We met at the job interview. I knew she'd be an asset to the club straight away. She's got management material written all over her. Actually, I'm not sure what my long-term plans are yet. No, we'll work on that. How long's the club been open for? I don't think I've heard of it before. Oh, about six months, but it's just really starting to take off now. Well, you obviously enjoyed being your own boss. I do. It's something I've been working towards for the past 15 years. Which does make me a fair bit older than Martha. And I have to admit, I was concerned about that too in the beginning. But when the connection's there, what can you do about it? You guys would know about that. Sorry, I don't mean to get too intense or anything. in one very special show. Don't miss John Mayer Live. Tickets on sale now. A new calendar. Oh, my hat. Yep, and we need as much help as we can get. So do you think Madge would give us a hand? I wouldn't put anything past Madge Wilkins, but if you think I am going to shamelessly exhibit myself... So the guys who are going to be nude, Colleen. Yeah, and we'll be using props to cover anything too confronting. Oh, well, I suppose... Um... It is for a good cause, and I could uh, turn a blind eye. <laughs> you know, mate, I reckon if the girls are going to make me strip off, you should too. Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. Come on, man, I can't do it by myself. And look, besides, the girls don't think it's much of a big deal. Yeah, it's just like wearing your swimmers, except without them. Please. OK, fine, fine, but... Why anyone would want to see me naked, I have no idea. Don't worry about it, mate. They'll all be looking at me. Mr. January, six gone. Um, let's go. Why? Can't you see the way they're all staring at us? So they'll have to get over it. Look, we all live in this town, Taylor. We can't avoid each other forever. Come on. You, um, want to go to the surf club? Why? Oh, no, no, no. I, I don't have a problem with them being here. No, seriously, it's it's fine. They're getting on with their life and I'm getting on with mine. Yeah. End of story. See you later, guys. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Ken. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe we could all get together and have dinner sometime. Sure, just give us a call. Okay, great. Yeah. Bye-bye. Oh, he seemed like a nice enough guy. He's obviously keen on Martha. I thought he was a bit full of himself. I think he's just confident. He's a grown man who runs his own business. It comes with the territory. Why didn't she tell us about him? I don't know. Maybe she's not ready. What's up? Is it the age thing? Oh, not entirely. I just think she's rushed into this so soon after... Well, just so soon after everything that she's been through. Are you talking about Ash? Or is there something else? Look, Sal, I'm not blind. Martha's been on edge for weeks now, and so have you. Well, yeah, I, I can't talk about it. Well, if it's got you this worried, then maybe you should talk about it. It might help. Well, Martha fell pregnant to Ash, and she decided to end the pregnancy without telling anyone about it. Right. Well, that is full on. Mm. And I still think that she's she's hurting because of it. And she's not talking about it. She won't even admit how she feels. Which is why she's keeping her distance. Yeah. And which is why I think she's ended up with a bloke like Cam so soon. So, I'm still your dirty little secret, am I? I thought we were just casual. That's why I didn't say anything. I'm sorry you thought that, Martha. Mm. But I'd like to think we're a little more than just casual. Got some nerve showing your face around here. 
I wanted to apologise for being an idiot last night. I'd, I'd had a skin fall and I, I wasn't thinking. Oh, so that's an excuse for what you did? It's not. And I'm sorry, Martha. I was way out of line. I, I just hope you call about me coming back. Mate, she never wants to see your face again. Neither do I. 